peace, demon world. At this time, I am Nicole Monique Pace, the Queen Empress, Shadow Priestess, Isoteric Soul Star, and I'm here to keep this realm and reality current in World War III. Agape and infinite gratitude to the Soul Family Constellation. This up. Peace, y'all. All right. Today is Mars Day, and that's Tuesday, April 5th, 2022. The sun is currently 15 degrees into the Aryan archetype. So to all of the Aryan ones out here acknowledging a star day today, the day a star was incarnated here, all right? Peace and more power to you and all of your individual missions, as I greatly appreciate your service to us all, Aries. Thank you, all right? Without Aries, we all be running around without a hat, okay? No good. Now, uh, since the sun is in uh, 15 degrees into Aries, it's still conjunct fixed star alphabets, all right? And again, this is freedom, love of movement, speed, intellectual, and can indicate riches and honors. The link is in the description box for the fixed star info on astrology study. Now, at the top of Mars hour, 6.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon is currently three degrees into the Germanian archetype. This is what the Sabian symbols has to say about the third degree of Gemini. The garden of the Tuileries, crystallization, bringing to bear the rational mind to explain the mysteries solidifies experience into a foundation of knowledge, understanding, hierarchy, and privilege. Even though we can touch the depths of consciousness and heights of superconsciousness by temporarily suspending the mind's devotion to reason, this cannot last indefinitely. Sooner or later, the grasping mind must structure its perceptions and create patterns to explain them. This is form, thought form, and it gives rise to rulership and rituals as it centralizes the ego into the discipline of clarity. Okay, shout out to Mercury for sure. Okay, let's stay current, check our alignment, and talk aspects. So yay, today Venus transitions into the Pisces archetype. <sighs> Great. Okay, but since this is Mars Day, let's continue on and talk about Mars. Mars is 22 degrees into the Aquarian archetype, and um, this conjuncts fixed stars Na, Nashura, Nashira, and Saudal Sud. Okay, and you can go to astrology, uh, the link in the description box, astrology study, or any of the uh, links or whatever, to get more info on the influence of 22 degrees Aquarius when Mars conjuncts these fixed stars. All right, so let's talk about Mars and Aquarius squared up with the North Node in Taurus and the South Node in Scorpio. Mars and Aquarius influences drive inspired actions, passions and aggressions toward humanity in social circles, individualism, intellect and ingenuity, the future, altruism, rebellion, logistics, and the paranormal. Now, as directions of operation in this life, the north and south nodes are progressive and regressive, respect, respectively, right? So the north node in Taurus progresses the soul and that relates to materialism personal possessions talents core values sensuality reliability and just overall comfort zones right operating too much in the south node is regressive um and in scorpio that relates to secrecy all right mysticism intimacy and sex Force and power, magnetism, possessions, particularly others' possessions, transformation, and competition. All right, so be aware since Saturn's Day, the 2nd of April, through next Saturn's Day, the 9th, all right, of external oppositional experiences relating to the, you know, to drives, inspired actions, and aggressions concerning humanity, rebellion, individualism, and even the paranormal, 
and soul progression relating to materialism, core values, personal possessions, um, and talents, along with uh, the soul's regression as it relates to sex, intimacy, shared possession, and secrecy, and transformation, right? So be aware out here, it might be some hard choices, okay? Let's see what the title says. Someone here is going to have to utilize their discernment skills uh, concerning a reconciliation. Whoever is coming back in is declaring a strong position of emotional love, support, and loyalty. This person is stating they're willing to fight for this chance. The energy behind this is someone um, choosing to face some kind of emotional fear. And let, listen, I'm, I gotta be for real, okay? The discernment is going to have to come in very strong because this person is still connected to some type of friend, um, a group, a community, some type of situation that is very complicated. However, this person still feels dissatisfied within this group. It kind of feels like, like a kid, like, they, you know, I want that, I want that, and they got like a whole shit of that, and they still not satisfied and, and mad because they want that too, like something like that. But anyway, right, um, they're dissatisfied and feel somewhat trapped without this other party, okay? There's some kind of uh, problem with a marriage or organization or maybe even a belief system that affects this dissatisfied party and I don't know whether you know this will you know um shock the dissatisfied party but whoever this is that they're coming toward they've undergone undergone like a major transformation and they are like 80 percent likely to turn this down um, the universe says the receiving party is focused on maintaining peace in and or around their home their and their personal space in general, okay? This person is also likely taking heed to some type of wise counsel. Very well could be in spirit, okay? Like a, you know, um, a, a, a love mate that has, you know, a love mate, um, a soul mate that has transitioned, like a parent or something, particularly possibly like a father or something. But, um... You know, whoever it is, they they are taking heed to wise counsel, to trust in the unknown, okay, and that, you know, a significant increase in income is what they're in alignment with, you know, first and foremost, all right? Next up is Mars and Aquarius, semi-sextile Neptune in Pisces. So Neptune and Pisces influences the removal of delusion and materialized constraints, and it activates the psyche and spiritual vision. And this is as it relates to what's hidden, right? This Piscean energy, what's hidden, the psyche, spirituality, artistic, creative expression, like philanthropy, idealism, and imagination. Okay, and semi-sextiles influences one to commune with self, as it is a 30-degree aspect that facilitates development element through that communion, right? And this reduces inner conflict, right? So be aware today through Saturn's days and nights of the opportunity to create something new within. And that's as you compare and reflect inspired actions, passions, and aggressions around your own individualism, humanity, ingenuity, and rebellion, and, you know, rational ideals relating to spirituality, artistic expression, philanthropy, and things that are hidden, okay, particularly enemies if we're talking about Pisces, all right, let's see what the tarot says, someone has been committed to a childhood dream since they were a child, okay, there's someone here that claims, you know, another party that claims that they can offer and or participate in whatever this commitment and dream is but this person is exaggerating a lot like pretty much just lying through their teeth because um they don't really have anything significant to back up their claims all right they couldn't claim to be an authority figure a provider stable and they don't really have any proof for that right this person is going to talk even propose marriage but for real this person is just looking to snatch uh, this dedication, uh, this dedicated person up for themselves to satisfy their own desires. They could 
kind of like almost be obsessed with this person or just the way that they move in general. Like, I don't know, like this, this obsessed person could really be obsessed with themselves. Like, it's kind of weird, just like in the way that they move. I don't know. Um, but again, they could be obsessed with this person, this other person's energy and or their work ethic. All right. Um, and this is a habit for this. They're kind of like a leech. Okay. This person has... Um, a string of people that they get emotionally attached to them and then they drop these people whenever they're good and ready okay this person has serious serious control and personal finance issues okay whoever this hard worker is though they're not a fool at all very quickly they're going to see the devil in the details of this situation this person is literally a star in some shape form or fashion and could even be the first in their family in some way okay with something this person is transitioning into a serious life phase of abundance and good fortune the universe says that this is a person that, you know, finds it more easily, possibly than a lot of people to navigate around things that are unseen, okay? Whatever this person has envisaged and been moving towards since a child, it is going to be offered for them, um, well, to them, offered for them, okay? All right? Um, this is a life-changing experience for this person. Now, on to our spiritualist foot card of the day. Guess who ain't got to explain shit to nobody? you quit trying to explain yourself to everyone no one has to understand your brand of cupid you gotta own your shit but that's a whole lot different than trying to get everyone to sign off on whatever weirdness you want to create get on with your freaky little self you freaky little fuck it is so crazy how i have 99 cards in the stack and it seems like the same freaking 10 keep coming out but it is what it is right that is what I have for you at this time. Please stay spiritually strapped out here. Don't get washed up under the current. And I'll talk.